Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can use a free online platform which is actually very very cool. It will help you to create uh, different types of graphics and different types of templates that you can use for different marketing activities that you have in your business like uh, Facebook covers, Twitter covers, YouTube uh, thumbnails, uh, different envelopes, business cards and other things like that. You will see that you will have a multiple of templates and layouts from which you can choose and from which you can uh, select the one that it's fitted for you and for your needs in your marketing activity. Now the platform that I want to share with you in this video and show you exactly how you can use it, it's called Relay. Now, first things first, what you have to do is go to the web page or website that you can see right now on my screen here in my browser address. So relaythat.com. Okay. Basically, the name I think states it uh, states it all. Uh, you take uh, everything that you have, graphical elements, okay, images, and all that other stuff, and you just simply relay it. Okay, put it in a different order, create a different layout because. That's what the app is all about. Now, what you want to do, uh, what you want to do after you come to this page, you want to sign up for free. You will see this big button here, sign up free. Okay, you create a free account, and afterwards you will be able to log into your account. Now, I will log into my account, which I've already created, and I will show you step by step how you can uh, create some designs. Okay, which are the options that you have using this uh, this amazing app. And I am sure that you are going to love it 100% and that you are going to use it into your business or even for personal stuff, I don't know, like Facebook personal covers and other things like that, okay, just to have fun, let's say so. So after you have created your account, uh, if you go back on this page here, relate.com, you will have this option, okay, as you can see for me, it's account, log out, for you it will be login, you log in with your uh, credentials. Now I will just press here on this button and it will bring me back to this page, okay? So basically you will see that I have this menu here, okay, layouts, projects, uh, archive, GoPro, obviously uh, all online platforms that have a sign up free button and have a free version, have also a paid version for those that want more from them. And also like a short training if you want to understand better how to go through the uh, through the app, but it won't be, be the case because uh, you will have already been through this course and you'll know how to use it, okay? So first things first, what you want to do is go to the layout section here. So I will just uh, click on the layout section. And basically here is the editor here. We will select your layout, your templates, absolutely everything, okay? Now what you'll see here in the left side is a menu from which you can select your templates. You'll see that they are organized in... Uh, let's say in different categories based on the purpose that you want to use the design for, like for example, posts, okay, for social square posts, social white posts, like for Facebook, for Instagram, for Twitter, covers, Facebook cover, Twitter header, creators, maybe, I don't know, you want to create a mock-up or an infographic or a book cover, a book promo or even presentations, okay, or album cover ads maybe you want to create a facebook ad so for those of you who are running facebook ads for their businesses right now at this moment this tool can actually be very very useful and you will see that you also have a set of tools here like cropping photos snapchat filters collages you want if you want to create collages i know for personal reasons or to expose like a portfolio of your business maybe you are a photographer or you have uh, dif different types of products into your business this tool can actually be very, very useful. Uh, an Instagram plan, watermarker, if you want to add watermarks to your photos, again, maybe you are a photographer or something like that. That tool can be also very, very useful. And we will go fast through them so you can just have like an idea because they are very easy to use. And if you are interested specifically in one of them, you will, uh, you will discover on your own how to use it because you will see it's very intuitive and easy to use as I specified before. Now, let me go back to, okay, in the upper part of my dashboard. The first thing that you are going to see in your menu here is this theme section. And if I will click on this theme section, you will see that I have a number of themes here, okay, for which I can scroll. Basically, this type of themes will change the colors and the fonts that I use for all of my templates that I can see here. So basically, the themes are like, 
something that come over the templates it will change the colors and the fonts that you are using in any of your uh, templates okay or in any of your graphics for example let's select the the first one uh, Facebook branded I will confirm it okay and as you can see it changed the fonts here it changed the colors to all my logos and other stuff like that okay now here if you will see this uh, other section in the menu in the left side menu layouts here we can basically see all the layout the layouts that we have so we don't have a specific order if you just scroll down you will see a lot a lot of layouts and we don't want to see them all actually we want to go straight to the point so what we want to do is scroll a little bit down and we will find the sections from which we can actually select the templates we are interested in so for example right now maybe i'm interested in creating a facebook cover uh, all i have to do is go with my cursor over this uh, title here facebook cover i will press here or click here with my mouse and you will see that uh, okay the templates will load for me okay so as you can see i have different types of templates here for my facebook cover right now uh, obviously the images that you can see here for example let me select this one okay all the images that you can see here uh, are for one of my businesses so this is not something that i randomly that uh, you will randomly get from the program okay these images with gardening stuff and flowers and somebody gardening okay uh, these are images that i've personally uploaded obviously you can upload your own images there's no problem with that so basically how you can edit this template for example you have these images here okay and you'll see that you have photos here okay one two three four and the backdrop okay so basically the back backdrop is the background of the template as you can see if i will go with my mouse here in the menu on the backdrop you can see that uh, I can actually see the whole image, okay, the, the whole photo in the editor. Then uh, you can see that I have the fourth image here with the call to action. Uh, what I can do is basically I can hide the image if I want to, okay, from this small button here. Or I can edit the image if I want to, I don't know, add a certain effect to it, okay, make it darken, make it uh, fader, uh, give it a little bit of contrast. Uh, I have different effects here okay as you can see here uh, below the actual image I have this editor like invert okay hue vignette okay smooth let me go back I don't like these effects the contrast one I like it okay and I have to confirm the, the effect if I like it okay I will confirm the adjustment by pressing on this button and that's how I've edited my image now if I want to let's say change the image the only thing that I have to do is just click on it okay go to download section or, or wherever you have your images on your computers uh, you select an image that you want I don't know let me just find one as an example for you guys uh, let's say that I will select this one okay and as you can see it uploaded my new image here okay it works the same for all the other spaces here you can see the images here you just have to click on them select a different images a different image and so on right now above this section with your photos you have the colors okay uh, first of all you have the shapes you can hide the colored element okay the basically the border of the shapes or you can activate it okay so you can see that you have like this switch on and off button under all of your elements to hide it or I don't know activate it and if I will click on the color of the image I can basically change it as you can see if I'm scrolling down for the colors here okay if I'm going with my mouse over if you have a look here in this part while I am playing with the colors it will change the colors okay maybe let's say that we want a white we press done and that's it okay the overlay basically that fade overlay that we can see on the backdrop image we can change that as well let's go maybe for something green like that we press the button done and we can even change the backdrop a little bit okay but basically we don't have a backdrop we have an image for the backdrop okay then we can edit the text that we can see here like the call to action test one you can see that it has been edited here hashtag the same okay then we can change the fonts if we want to basically this is how it works guys pretty pretty nice right now let's say that in the middle of editing our template we want to change the theme 
okay the colors and everything no problem we can see that we have th the themes here above our editor let's say that we like this one here we just have to press on it we press the button confirm and you can see that the fonts have already been changed okay basically in this case it will only change the fonts because we have different colors based on the template and based on what we have worked uh, and edited here uh, up to this point right so this is how simple it is it is guys okay to to create a new a new facebook cover or a new design now how do we save our design very very simple you will see that we'll have this uh, uh, this download button here we just have to click on it uh, it will prepare the download for us bear with me for a couple of seconds because it will take uh, a couple of minutes for it to load one out of 10 downloads used this month. Oh, this is something that I forgot to tell you, but uh, probably you won't use this so much in, uh, in order to use all of your downloads. You have 10 downloads per month, okay, using this app. I think it's more than enough for somebody who is just creating a design from time to time. You won't need all of that. Now, after the download has been prepared, I will press the download button and voila, it downloads my design to my computer. Let's check it out. So this is my new Facebook cover, guys. Pretty neat, right? So it looks actually pretty, pretty nice. This is how you create it. Very, very interesting, right? Now let's take a look uh, at some of the other stuff that we have here in the left side menu, some of the other uh, templates. For example, maybe I want to create a social media post. I will just go to the social square post, click on it, and wait with me for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, we have different templates here uh this is for a book promotion okay so basically you can see we have different types of posts here i like all of them they are actually very very good some of them uh, for example this one it actually looks very very nice very neat okay now let me go to other stuff like uh, facebook cover we went through that creators mockups let's see what mockups templates we have uh, okay, this is one example, one example, another example of mock-up template. Facebook ads, let's go through the Facebook ads. Okay, pretty neat. For example, this one, I think it's a very good Facebook type of ad. Or this one as well. Okay, so you can have Facebook ads as you can see. Or this one, this one is also very good Facebook ads. Or this one can also be something very, very good. Or even this one. Okay, guys, so you have different types of templates of Facebook ads. And uh, I think some of them are actually really, really good. For example, this one or this one here or even this one. Okay, so you have from where to choose. Now, let's go uh, through the tools as well a little bit. Let's see the collage tool, for example. And afterwards, I'll let you be because probably you got sick and tired of watching me through this video. Okay, explaining to you. So as you can see, we have different templates of collages uh, some of them are actually really really nice for example I like this one this one it's also very very good this one here looks pretty interesting so we have different templates for collages as well uh, watermarker let's see the watermarker in action so this is how a watermarker looks like okay basically for example if you want to use uh, the watermark we just have to select the template type and obviously, instead of the icon, we can change with our logo. Instead of the logo, again, we can change with one images with one image of our own. And you will have an image with watermark after that. Okay, just click on the two images, change it with uh, your logos or your own watermarks, and you will have an image with your watermark on it. As simple as that. Afterwards, you download it to your computer, you post it wherever you have to post it, and you will have an image with a watermark so nobody can steal it from you and use it for their own purposes. Now guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that uh, you have learned something in this video and I hope that you will enjoy this tool Relay because it actually has some very cool templates and features. And I hope it will be useful in your marketing activity and for your business and even for fun purposes, why not? Thank you again for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in my other videos as well. Until next time, I wish you all the best and maximum success. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here.